guys and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to build this lovely looking windmill design. Um, this is a design built by Epera and I think it actually looks really cute and I hope you guys enjoy it. Before we start however, I want you to take a look at this map. This is a, um, this is a map I'm working on right now and this is basically the entire world we are in. Um, but some of you have already seen this because I posted this on my Instagram. Um, to get more updates on what we are doing, just follow us on Instagram. It's official EB Productions. Yes. Now, with this sh a shameless self promotion, let's just get right into the tutorial. So, we're going to start with our logs. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to be, uh, build the basic foundation. Um, and what you want to do for that. Is to first place a log right here, then leave one block free diagonally, uh, then leave one more block free diagonally. Um, and this is going to be basically one side of the build. Um, the same thing you're going to do over here, so one free, uh, one free, like so. Same thing here, like so. And same thing here, like that. And this is basically the entire footprint of the build. Now, what you want to do is to build all these blocks up to four blocks high. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay, uh, once you're done with that, um, you're going to place some um, outward facing logs uh, on each of these pillars. So the outermost pillar, you're going to place an outward facing log uh, just like so. Then you're going to replace the log behind here. Um, with a side below as well Just like that now um, What you want to do for these side pillars though is um, you're gonna place um, Two logs on either side just like so uh, And then replace the top one with two um, Side blocks like that and then behind here. There's going to be um, a row of um, side blocks as well, except for the middle part, which is going to be a side block like this. So, what you have right here, I'm going to do the same thing here. Two underneath, like so, and that is going to be um, the basic shape. Now, what you can do uh, in the middle here is you can just place a lock like this, or if you're on a new update, you can have um, an oak wooden lock block with all the faces being. Um, just covered in bark. Um, you're going to do the same thing right here, and you're going to do this exact same thing on um, these two sides as well. So I'm just going to do that real quick. So I'm almost there. Now, what you want to do again? Um, two side blocks like so, and then one side block in the middle, two side blocks, and one in the middle like so. Now, uh, what you want to do is these side blocks here, uh, these middle ones, uh, just bring them out to the center. Same for these, so on every single one, there's going to be two additional side blocks. And then in the middle here, there's just going to be a normal lock like uh, this. Yes. And that's basically it for the base. Now, what you want to do is right here in the middle, um, we're going to build a... Um, little pillar that's going to support the top part of this windmill uh, and what you want to do for that is uh, all around this block there's going to be uh, pillars of uh, logs and these are going to be three blocks high so add two more like so and just like that you created this pillar okay now what you want to do right here um, Depending on where the wind is coming from, so uh, imagine the wind is coming from that direction, it doesn't really matter in this case. Um, if the wind is coming from that direction, then this side and this side is going to be... Um, it's going to have uh, two side blocks attached to it. And the same thing on this side as well. Then what you want to do is on the first side block you just placed, there's going to be um, a pillar, or depending. Uh, or if the wind is coming from that way, then on this side, there's going to be a row of side blocks of exactly four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Same thing right here. One, two, three, four. 
and then on the back side there's going to be uh, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So the wind is coming from that direction, uh, blowing that way, and this is going to be the front side where the actual um, ar arms and fucking, like, I don't know what it's called, um, of the windmill are actually located. Now, when you, once you have this, uh, what you want to do is right here, uh, not on the last one, but the second to last, there's going to be a row of uh, side blocks connecting these two parts together. Then on top uh, of these um, side blocks, and the same level as where you just pl place this row, there's going to be uh, a pillar of three blocks high, and do this in all corners, just like so. And now, very simply, we're going to make a roof shape, um, and this roof shape is going to be um, built just like this. So diagonally from this pillar, there's going to be a lock right there, and a lock in the middle, just like so. And the same thing for this side, just like so. Now, um, what you want to do is, in the middle here, you're going to place uh, one lock right here, where this other uh, outward facing lock is, and then you're going to place one lock diagonally on top, like so, and you can place a row of locks just like that. Same thing right here, one lock like that, one lock like that, and a row on top here, just like so. Now, um, what you want to do on the front side here, this is the front side, um, we're gonna support the actual wind catching part of this windmill, I forgot what it's called, I'm so sorry, um, by placing um, logs all around here. So this middle part is actually where the, the windmill thing is going to get come out. And what you want to do for that is actually place three side blocks, just like so. So this is where the arms are going to attach to. Um, and now for the back side, what you want to do for that area is quite simply um, build a pillar of three blocks high, just like so. And that is going to do it for now. Now, um, before we start making the arms, we're going to decorate this back side a bit. Uh, what you want to do for that is f first right here, from this pillar right here, there's going to uh, be a gap of six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on the seven block, there's going to be a pillar. Then uh, do the exact same thing on this side as well. So a gap of six blocks and then a pillar right here. Uh, this is going to be the supporting back sides, which can actually turn the whole windmill. Uh, construction thing that's what we're going to build right here now what you want to do for that is um, quite simply this first pillar right here is going to be two blocks high just like that then you're going diagonal like so and one block up just like that and this one is also going to be two blocks high same thing right here and we're going to work inwards, so we're going to work towards this point right here. Now, uh, the second of the third row right here is going to be um, three blocks high, just like that. Same thing right here, three blocks, just like that. And then finally, the last is going to be three blocks as well, and the last right here. Three blocks, yes. Now. What you want to do right here, where it actually connects, uh, we're going to build a um, pillar or a side lock row going out right here. It's going to be three blocks, just like that. Um, and you can actually make it go inward as well, just like so. Then what you want to do is right here, where uh, these uh, pillars meet, there's going to be a block on top right there, and there's going to be a block underneath here, like so. And with that, we have done all the logs in this build. Okay, now we're going to start filling in the walls of this build. Um, for this part, this is quite easy actually. Uh, for this bottom part, what you want to do is just fill this in with cobblestone at first. Um, same thing here. Cobblestone. And this part as well. Cobblestone. Just like so. And this side as well. Just all cobblestone. Now. Um, then what you want to do is on these corners, uh, every here and there, what you want to do is to create 
um, little stairs. And this one will have a block and a stair. Um, and then right here in the middle as well, there's going to be some stairs. Everything will be extre extremely randomized. So uh, you can follow exactly what I'm doing or you can just randomize yourself. Just make it look like this bottom part is just uh, almost like a bunch of stones just thrown on top of each other. Um, and that would look really cool. So like that maybe, who knows. Um, maybe like so. Wonderful. And then in the wall itself you can add some randomization uh, by placing some stairs in and maybe some stone or end side blocks as well which look really good in uh, a cobblestone wall that's the way to randomize or one way at least it's my favorite way so everyone should do it because I'm great um, great yeah wonderful now um, once you've done all that we're gonna fill in the walls up here and when you're done with that you're basically done with all the walls because there's not a lot of walls in this build um, so what you want to do for this part, it's quite simple, um, we're going to fill this in with some um, birch wood planks and some birch wood stairs, um, yeah. and the birch wood actually mixes really well with the, the oak wooden uh, logs, um, it just creates this really nice contrast, I, I really like it. Now same thing what you did with the bottom part, with these um, with these birch wooden um, walls here, you're gonna randomize them with some birch wooden stairs. So, you're gonna just place a few here and there, just like so, just like that, and maybe one here, and one here. Okay, now once you've done that, um, like above this. Uh, Lock right here. There's going to be a window same thing on this side as well And as you can see I made a mistake here um, Because a stair cannot be placed next to a window because in this window We're going to place some fences later on uh, You don't have to worry about that right now, but you can just keep that in mind for the future Okay, once you've done this uh, We've basically got all the walls um, Now we're going to do the roofs and once we're done with that we um, we are going to start with the extra arms of this windmill. So yeah, let's just get on with the second part. So what you want to do for the roofs? Um, we're going to take out our oak wooden slabs, our oak wooden planks and our oak wooden stairs for now. Uh, we're going to start right here. And I'm just going to do uh, a quarter uh, from here to here. And basically everything I do, you have to copy that um, and well not copy just do everything I do in this corner and do that for every other part as well so we're gonna start here oh no we're gonna take out our slabs I'm going to place one slab here one slab there and then obviously on the other side as well but I'm just gonna do one corner um, same thing oh wait it would be easy if I do this corner so one thing here one slab here one slab here one slab there um, we're gonna do this corner right now um, then what you want to do is to take out your stairs, place one stair there, corner stair, same thing here, one stair, corner stair, like so. Then a slab here, a slab there, and a stair here in the middle, doesn't really matter which way it's facing, as long as it's kind of this way or that way. Um, and a stair here, and a stair, oh, right there. And then two more slabs, one right here, and one right there. Um, and already it's looking phenomenal, but we're not even close yet. Uh, what you want to do now is right here, where these two stairs are meeting, um, we're going to make a corner stair, like so. Same thing right here. Actually, no, no, scratch that, we're going to place a plank. Yes, a plank. A plank lo looks much better. Okay, now what you want to do for now, um, behind here is place a slab right there. And then a stair behind it. Same thing right here. A slab, like so. Then a stair behind it. Then in these corners, um, what you're gonna do is basically place a block, uh, and then two slabs on the sides, like so. And then a s 
block behind here in this corner and that is basically it for this part and then what you want to do with this is to basically copy this and place this on all sides Okay, once you've done, um, once you are done building these um, roofs here, uh, we're gonna move on to this top part. Uh, first things, want, what you want to do is on the inside, um, you can actually start replacing these locks here with some um, side blocks, just like so. And this middle one can just be a lock like that. And then in these corners, what you can do is take some spruce wood, uh, because I really like spruce wood and planks for. Um, floor designs uh, and just place some top slabs all around like so so now from the bottom it's all filled in now what you want to do right here um, on the front side you can replace this log this middle log with uh, an outward facing log and the same can be done on the other side as well so now we have this we're gonna move on uh, to this set of stairs right here uh, and this set of stairs is actually quite simple. Um, basically what you want to do is to start create a row of uh, stairs like so, uh, connecting to this row of uh, logs. Same thing on this side, a row of stairs connecting to this row of logs, then a row of stairs on top here as well. And except this one is going to have an overhang of one block on both sides. Uh, same thing of course on this side. Like so. Then um, another row of stairs right here. But in uh, except of having just a normal overhang of one block, um, these stairs will have um, corner stairs at the end, just like so. Same thing right here, just like this. And then there's going to be a row of slabs on top. And then in the middle, or not in the middle, at the ends, there's going to be. Um, top slaps in between these corner stairs. Same thing on this side, top slap in between these corner stairs, just like so. Now, this or this looks a bit plain. What you can do is poke some holes in it by replacing some of these um, stairs with some corner stairs, and that literally pokes holes in them. Uh, you can even place two uh, next to each other. So, for example, uh, if we do this, create a bigger hole, Something like that. Just uh, randomize it a bit, make it look a lot better. Now, once you've done that, um, it's basically time um, to um, move on to the actual arms of this windmill. Uh, and after that, we're going to detail it, and then we are basically done. So, the arms of this windmill is going to be quite simple. Uh, what you want to do is, from these two blocks you already have here at the front side, um, you're just going to place two more. Then um, what I do now is going to re repeat it four times, so you can best build along. Um, I'm using normal locks, but if you have the new update, you can use the lock with bark on all four sides, which works much better for this. Um, but what you want to do is to place two locks like so. Then it's um, you go diagonal one, so two more locks just like that. Then you go diagonal once more, and then it's just one lock, just like so. So I'm going to repeat that here, so two locks, then go diagonal. This time it's down, and go like uh, this. Same thing down here, two locks, diagonal, two more, then diagonal, one more. Two locks, diagonal, two more, diagonal, one more. Wonderful. Now, uh, what you want to do is on uh, the uh, right side of everyone, uh, this left and right there. On this side, right here, there's going to be um, some wool. Just place two like this, then three more like so, and then one block like that. Then for this this one right here, it's going to be basically the same. Two locks, three, one like that. For this one, the same as well. Two, uh, three, and then one like so. And surprisingly, for this one, it's the exact same. Uh, let's see. Oh no, not like that. Two locks, then three like so, and then one like that. And now we're just going to randomize it a bit with some light gray wool. So one or two maybe here. Um, one there, 
who knows maybe these three are light gray um, maybe this one is light gray and maybe these two are light gray and I don't know this one uh, this one and this one so already it looks a lot better because it's really randomized now which is, adds a lot of I don't know it adds a lot of detail to the build now uh, what you want to do next after that is to take out your trap doors um, these are just normal open uh, trap doors but because of the texture pack we're having um, it looks kind of weird but you just the first three locks like so are going to be filled in with um, trap doors and already that looks really cool but now it's time for us to actually move on to the detailing part so for the detailing what we're going to do uh, is we're going to take out our wooden buttons our stone buttons our uh, oak wooden fence gates our spruce wooden fence gates our oak wooden fences our spruce wooden fences uh, and maybe our signs as well who knows just like that and we're gonna start right here at this front part. We're gonna just place a stone button right here, that center in the middle. Then uh, on these, um, the arms of this windmill actually, there's going to be spruce from the stairs. So one is going right there, then uh, a fence gate, a spruce wooden fence gate. And then right here, there's going to be a, um, a normal fence, uh, a spruce wooden fence right there. And the kind of the same thing is going to happen on top but without the fence gate so it's just going to be two fences the bottom is the same two fences but then right here we're going to do a fence gate again uh, and to place this fence gate you need to split something under it first and then just remove that and like so we have created these beautiful arms okay now moving on to um, this side of the build first what you want to do is on all, all these out facing uh, outward poking logs, you're going to place wooden buttons. Then, um, what you want to do on the inside here, uh, there's going to be um, spruce wooden fences holding up uh, this build a bit, just like so, on these corners of this top part. Then, there's going to be normal fences here in this window hole, uh, and those will be the windows of this build. Wonderful. Um, on this side as well, of course, there's going to be some wooden buttons, like so. Then, um, we're going to move on to uh, the back side, and the back side will be decorated as follows. Uh, on all, all these outward facing locks, there's going to be wooden buttons. And then on this lock here in the middle, there's going to be a stone button, just like so. Now, we're going to take out our um, spruce wooden stairs, our spruce wooden slaps. And on all these logs here, there's going to be spruce wooden slabs. It's like one there, one there, one there. Except for this, uh, the top one. Uh, on the top one, we're going to replace this log with a spruce wooden stair. Just like that. And then on top, there's not going to be anything. Maybe you can place a button. Who knows? That looks good. Um, then underneath here, there's going to be a spruce wooden slab. And you can also place a spruce wooden slab right there as well just for extra support then f down here these are all going to be wooden buttons like so wonderful and i forgot some slaps right here then underneath all of these locks there's going to be more wooden slaps yes making this one obsolete actually uh these these wooden buttons anyways wooden slaps for days and more right there yes and now um, that is basically done. Now, what you want to do to detail this a bit more, we're going to place some spruce wooden stairs. So you can just place um, two spruce wooden stairs, like so. Uh, same here, just place two of them. Uh, and uh, is that everything? Mm, yeah, you can place maybe one more right here. Or th three, doesn't really matter. Just place a few to randomize it a bit. Uh, down here, which looks really good. Now, um, one, one more thing you can do to detail this build is for the bottom part, uh, all the way at the bottom, there's going to be um, fence gates running all the way through here. 
So you need to place some materials underneath here. Um, I, I don't think, I thought in the new update they fixed that so you can place them without any supports. But for now you have to place something underneath here. Uh, place the fence gates, the oak wooden fence gates. And then just remove the filler blocks. So, oh. Like uh, this. And on all sides. And once you've done with that. That is basically everything you need to do for this build. Like so. And on this side as well. Fence gates all around. Okay, just like that. Now, um, there are some parts where you can add a bit more detail. Of course, like underneath these, um, these corners, you can... Here and there you can place some spruce wooden uh, fences. You don't have to do them everywhere, just randomize it a bit. And I forgot these places here. So on all these outward facing um, locks there's going to be wooden buttons and here there's going to be a stone button. But I know that you guys have already figured it out. Uh, I'm just being stupid and I forgot it. Now, uh, one more thing, this I promise you is the last thing. You can place some signs around here to make this part a bit more detailed. You can place them uh, right here as well. And uh, even maybe one or two. You you decide. You can either place one or two. Okay, here I'm going to place two. Um, signs at these parts in between um, these outward facing locks with these stone buttons. I think that already looks a lot better. And with that, you created this really tiny, really cute looking windmill design. Um, and yeah, that's basically everything for this tutorial. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, if you did, please rate, comment and subscribe. Also subscribe to all the people in the description below. Follow us on Instagram, it's at officialebproductions. Um, also join our Discord, I'll be hanging out in there often. Um, I'll be just like hanging around in the general voice chat. You can join, have a conversation, ask some questions. I don't care. Just uh, have fun. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Also subscribe to all the people in this world. Comment below. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.